So, as you can tell, I've had a nightmare on the way into work today on the A13. A rocket's bounced up and hit this window, so I've got to get it repaired. That's why I'm in the East End today, to get that sorted. Even the vehicles round here have graffiti on them. So I'm making a video about the place where I was brought up, where I spent the first 30 years of my where I spent the first 30 years of my life. And uh, I'm down here because, well, I've got to get me, me window repaired on my vehicle. I wouldn't be in the East End in the morning otherwise, but that's why I'm here. I might as well show you a little bit of where I was brought up, show you a little back street that not many people know about. And years ago, you used to be able to go all the way through it from here. And you still can. Look at the graffiti. <laughs> so this little side street is a continuation of Voss Street. And Voss Street is a little cobbled street that runs parallel with Bethnal Green Road. And this is literally just yards from where I, I was brought up where I'm from and uh, I'll just show you where I'm from or where I lived more graffiti <laughs> do not put rubbish so this is Bethnal Green Road over there on the corner is a star of Bethnal Green and when I was growing up it was called the White Art and to the left of it is them masonettes there above the shops above where um, Charlie Magri the world featherweight champion was he? I know he was a, he was a light, lightweight boxer anyway um, that's where he had his shop there and I lived above the laundrette in them uh, that parade of shops there. So anyway, enough about Bethel Green Road. I'm not here to show you that. I'm going to show you this little back street. I want another thing before I go down Voss Street and show you that. Well, for me, an interesting little street, still cobbled. There's not many of them left in the East End anymore. That's Voss Street, I'll be walking up there in a second. Just got to show you this. This is Oxford House. Or Oxford House, as I used to call it. Or as most people around here used to call it. Um, it's been there since the 1800s. And for me it was a youth club. And I remember going to unlicensed boxing in there. I remember the people who used to run the youth club in there, Frank and Patrick, if I remember rightly. I remember busting my nose um, and having to have butterfly stitches from hiding from them, chasing me in rooms where I shouldn't have been, where we was running right in there. I've got lots of memories of this place actually, but we're not here to see that. This is Derbyshire Street and that's Weaver's Fields. And beyond them trees is the city. So, that's the history lesson over and done with. 
I moved out of here in 2001 and a couple of weeks later the Twin Towers fell down so that gives you a little bit of uh, perspective. Right, so this is Voss Street. And there's not many cobbled streets left in East London anymore so I thought I'd show you it. A narrow cobbled back street of Bethnal Green. If anybody can tell me why the street is named Voss Street, because believe me, I've looked online and I can't find any reason why this should be called Voss Street. Voss apparently is a German word and it means fox or low German. So, proof of absence, whatever that means. <laughs> But yeah, this is it, Voss Street. This is only gonna be a short one. Just gonna walk from one end to the other and just show you a little bit of my childhood to my 37 subscribers. And this is Haig Street. That's the red church over there, which incidentally is not a church anymore. But lots of graffiti, lots of interesting stuff. So we're coming up to an intersection up here and that is Valence Road and that was made famous by dint of the fact that that is where the Cray Twins used to live. This is Valance Road. Down that way takes you down towards Mile End. And that way takes you up towards Hackney. And these terraced houses would have been all the way along Valance Road once upon a time. And the Cray twins lived in one of them. Too late. So yeah, there's a sign for Voss Street. <laughs> Looks like SS Street, doesn't it? There, look, there's a sign up there. And we are coming to the end of it. At the end of this little stretch up here, which brings you out onto, I think, Buckfast Street. That is the end of Voss Street. I just wanted to show people that because there's all sorts of videos about other well-known London streets, but not this one. So to my 37 subscribers, I hope you enjoy this one. <laughs> and there'll be some more to come. Looks like it's getting a bit posher up this end. Yeah, that's Buckfast Street. And there, on the corner, is the King's Arms Pub. 
on the corner of Derbyshire Street. And that is another link to the craze, because apparently that is one of the pubs they used to drink in. That's it. That's a little known street called Voss Street. Worth showing people, I think. A little bit of character there. Showed you what the East End used to look like. Right, I know I said that was the end of the video, but I'm walking back up the other way because sometimes you miss things. Like this little sign. Obviously means no pissing. Oh, look at that. I missed that on the way down. Jameson. That is one of my favourite tipples. I love a drop of Jameson. That is a smooth whiskey, let me tell you. Is that Churchill? Looks a bit slim in the face for Churchill. Right, that really is it, folks over and out.